on my way home from the grocery store. Peek in here. And what do we have in here besides the obvious vacuum cord? We've got a bench. Smashed up. But see that metal? Both, both ends in there. Well, there's some valuable little boogers. I'm going to yank them out for you real quick. There it is. And that's in real nice condition with the exception of, where do I see that? There's a crack right there, but it's not bad and it's not even noticeable if you're just gonna use this for some kind of ornament like in a garden or something. And actually, it's probably solid enough to where you could actually sit on it. But it's definitely gonna be weakened by that crack. But either way, I know that there's a big demand out there for this kind of stuff, but I'm no pro on it, so for you experienced people that might be watching this, if you could go ahead and down in the comments and let us all know how much this stuff is worth. It's steel. It's a cast iron. Uh, both ends to a wood bench. I threw the wood in there. There's nothing salvageable. I salvaged some of the original hardware here some screws in that piece and most of the bolts are gonna be here and that wood was so rotten I just just bent it right off <laughs> it just fell apart so there's a piece of it right there but those are pretty cool I might just keep it for myself. I like stuff like that and do something with, do something with it in the future sometime. I know I said when I showed you around my storage unit, I said I don't collect anything with the exception I've started collecting unique pieces of metal. And that might have to just go in my collection. Either way, it's pretty cool. And of course, the customary 30 cents of electrical wire. Now I gotta rearrange my groceries. Oh well, that's worth it. I just like finding stuff like that. And that score right there will pretty much make my day. I actually found these plants in the garbage a long time ago. Well, this one years and years ago. This one over here I found last year, and I put it inside. I found two of them like that. It was big and bushy. I put it inside during the winter and I just let my cats eat it. And there was just a little bit of life left in it, and it, it came back pretty good this summer. I'll probably let my cats just finish it off, maybe. Sorry I haven't got to my second part of that gold-plated video yet. Just been running around doing other stuff and I made a really nice video a few days back and uh, that's a PS Sony PS Vita and it's in perfect working condition uh, I'll probably be able to get a hundred dollar bill out of that maybe but uh, it, it was a really neat video because I found just tons and tons of stuff and actually the dumpster that came out of there was a big bucket of cat litter dirty cat litter dirty poop and stuff <laughs> and it actually spilled and it, it would have made a really cool video but <laughs> I accidentally deleted it but in that video I found just a bunch of really nice clothes and stuff that I just put on the curb and I deleted the whole thing so it's kind of lame it, it would have been really neat but then the next day I went out and I just found all this stuff like here, on this purse and all these nice little handbags for, for ladies. And 
it's very similar to the kind of stuff I found in that video I deleted, but you know, and it's a little flexible hose. And those shoes aren't anything special, but they're curb worthy, you know. And I'll just put all that stuff on the curb somewhere. And I got a little package I sold on my website, a little micro cassette tapes. It's a real shame I deleted that because it would have been a really cool video for you guys to watch. You would have really liked it. That's always good when you got a big thing of cat litter that spills all over, <laughs> spills all over the place. I would try to recreate the video, but it just doesn't feel right. Even though, you know, it's not a lie or nothing, but that's just... I just don't feel right recreating it because that's just not you just don't have the genuine feelings you know <laughs> you know i could just put that stuff back in a dumpster and, and just yank it out you know and I mean, it's real it's not it's not fake it wouldn't be faked you know but that's just that's just different so i figure i just show it to you <laughs> oh i found this little plant stand too i see when it comes to this stuff I just don't have any way to sell it. And there's a tremendous amount of this stuff out here, you know. If I don't have a I don't have that strong flea market action. Like I don't know if you watch uh, Taco Stacks. He's got that big flea market, he can go and get rid of stuff like that. He'd probably be able to sell that for a nice little chunk of money. That's a real nice heavy duty plant stand. I'm gonna go down to the storage unit and get a bunch of stuff out of storage and take a load down to the scrapyard and I'm gonna make a real-time video once we're down there. This came out of that video I deleted too. A little RCA free TV uh, antenna, a little Texas Instruments calculator. Actually needs a battery though. But uh, I'm just gonna pack all this wire in here and some aluminum and stuff. Run down the scrapyard. I'll show you the receipt real quick, and then we're gonna run a real-time route. Just smash it down in there real good, like. We'll get a nice little valuable load going. I can get a much better price for that type of wire there. It's a scrapyard down the street from me some other day. So, just packed some more good wire in there. And some ethernet. The particular yard I'm going to gives good prices for uh, the number one insulated I got in there. And the ethernet and i'm gonna throw in some some motors nice little chunky dudes and some nice pieces of aluminum and a garbage disposal and i'm running short on time so i'm gonna get down there there's that load just heading out to the highway look in this dumpster look at that right there look at that <laughs> that's the least that's almost that's two pounds of copper just sitting there sheet copper and uh, let's see if there's some more of that good stuff in there. Uh, a little short steel. Uh, some little aluminum breakage. Little line marker deals. And see, you know, I mean, I already have one of these that I found, so I don't need any more. I have just a massive amount of usable stuff out there. And you might see me take it to the scrapyard and think to yourself, oh, you could sell that or yeah, you know. But that's just too much stuff. And I was just going to the scrapyard. <laughs> if I didn't if I didn't take stuff to the scrapyard, I, I would literally be a hoarder within a matter of days, you know, if I was out there doing this full time. Looks like about it. That dumpster smells kind of, kind of more mildewy and moldy. So I'm not gonna stick my face in there much longer. <laughs> That's not so score at all. That's probably four dollars. Just sitting right there. This is why I found those Bluetooth speakers. Well, I don't have to yell now. <laughs> but this thing just starts up on its own. I saw this to you before. But uh, I just started up on its own. I was gonna show it to you. 
I'll go ahead and start it back up. It has a manual deal here too, but it's also on a timer. So those on these dumpsters, those signs have extra meaning for sure. You don't ever want to get in there. It's like that scene from the original Star Wars. <laughs> uh, let's see. Start it up. Uh, I think it's. I think that's the. Uh, I don't think that start button's hooked up. Anyways, you got the point. That will smash you very good. No doubt about it. I suppose if it did happen, though, your best bet would be to just... What's up, man? I suppose if you did find yourself in a crunch like that, it looks like... The best thing to do would be to just get away from that lip there and just kind of curl up down there in the garbage and just let it smash you into the garbage. <laughs> you just want to definitely don't get stuck on that lip right there because that whole thing pushes this way. Anyway, I wish I could get it to start. Aha! We're in business now. We must have had to cycle. Oh, it's got an automatic shut off. Well, that's good. I didn't see that. I don't know why. Huh. I'm surprised it could detect that door opening like that. I don't see any electronics whatsoever. There it is right there. That little dude does it. Well, that's good. Oh, well, shoot. It did go, though. I'll see that. There's the smasher. I guess I better start it back up and finish the cycle. I had to get some bicycle fuel. <clears throat> Look at this sign right here. There's that receipt. Cast aluminum, 360. Electric motors, 230. Clean aluminum, $1.20. Number one, insulated copper, $8.80. Aluminum brake is 98 cents. Number one, copper. Actually, they gave me number one copper for that sheet copper. They probably weren't supposed to do that, but that's not a big difference in price. $4.50. And copper is starting to come up where I live. It's come up at least 30 cents, 40 cents. Uh, 10, 40 cents. Dirty brass, 30 cents, uh, 50 cents. Cat 5 cable, $1.20. $23.48. Show. 